The major cichlid auction is tomorrow. $80 per uh, lot of fish. I'm not sure how many of you are aware of that, but hopefully it helps someone out there. So guys, the major cichlid auction is tomorrow, and I am preparing the lots for the auction. So I thought I'd show you around the fish room quickly. So these are some of the fish I'll be selling tomorrow. Uh, Neal Empologus Lelipi. These are, these are in my grow out aquarium, my five foot grow out aquarium. And this guy's inspecting the fish room. He loves walking around in the fish room as well. So yeah, my Lelipi will be in the auction. I've got three lots of them going through. Uh, six in each lot. Uh, $50 each, we'll see how they go. Uh, we've got my white Alto Lamprologus Calvus. They're going in as well, uh, three per bag. So three lots of them going in at uh, $80 per uh, lot of fish. Neo Lamprologus Curiuris. So you can see how large they are. Uh, there'll be three lots of them as well, four per bag. And I'm hoping for $50 per lot. So uh, we'll see how they go. Yeah. Quite large, some of them are oh, two inches long, the males, and uh, some of them, you know, the smallest ones are probably just pushing an inch, and I assume they're the females. And the other fish I'll be selling in the auction are my Lampologus and Salatus Gold Fry. Uh, not these guys, the guys that I have for sale are in a tank that does not have uh, working light, but um, just to give you an idea of what they are, I'll show you this aquarium. This has my breeding pair in it. Actual Lampologus and Salatus Gold I'll be selling are in this aquarium. And uh, yeah, the light doesn't work on this tank, so uh, for the purposes of this video, I'll just show you like this. And hopefully you can see their nice purple coloration that they have on their, on their flanks when they swim around. So they're at a sellable size now. Neil Amprologus Brevis. Again, these, uh, these tanks, the lights don't work. Uh, cheap eBay lights, you get what you pay for, I suppose. The breeding tree are on this side. And I've got three larger adults uh, on this in this aquarium here. And Dozer investigating the fish room. Hey, buddy. Good boy. And the last fish. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> and the last fish that will be going in the auction as well are my black Alto Lamprologus calvus. Uh, selling them for the same price. Uh, there'll be three lots of three uh, in the auction. And they will be going for $80 each, uh, each lot. So uh, we'll see how they, those lots go. Um, and yeah, hopefully everything goes well and uh, everyone's in a buying mood. So it's the morning of the auction. I've been going for a few hours now. I'm almost ready to go. I've only got a few more bags of fish to bag. And I thought I'd show you guys what I do to bag a fish for an auction. So this bag's ready to go. What I do is add three to four drops of prime, uh, depending on the size of the bag, the volume of water. And the other thing I do is add these plastic strips to the bag. So I add three to four plastic strips per bag. and. Uh, these are purely uh, aquarium bags that have leaks or tears in them. Um, so instead of throwing them away, I save them for this purpose. Uh, and the purpose of putting the plastic strips in the bag is purely to stop aggression. When you're adding multiple fish to the bag, uh, it, it, if the fish are being aggressive and they want to fight, they run into those plastic strips and the, the aggression stops. It really does suppress aggression. And you only want to add clear plastic strips to the bag, not coloured strips uh, to the bag, or uh, even have an aquarium bag that is coloured. Uh, you just want everything to be clear so you can easily see the fish in the bag. And the plastic strips really do work. They do suppress aggression. I've had one instance where I've forgotten to add plastic strips to a bag. And obviously because there's many bags, sometimes it's easy to forget that process, that step in the, in the process of bagging the fish. And um, by the time I got to the auction, the Gilladuchromus regani that were in the bag were starting to miss scales because of a dominant fish in that bag was tormenting them, was bashing them. Uh, so I had to rebag that. Uh, a lot of fish, add the plastic strips, and it really does stop aggression. I've never had that problem when I've had the plastic strips in the bag. Seems a bit uh, of a weird one. I'm not sure how many of you are aware of that, but hopefully it helps someone out there. Uh, so add the plastic strips, really does suppress aggression. Anyway, got to catch a fish now, pop them in, and I'll show you how I bag the actual bag up. Now the way to close the bag up is really simple and I've only recently been shown uh, this method so I feel pretty silly for doing it my old way which was pretty much closing the bag up quickly and then putting uh, the elastic bands around the top of the bag. So you want to have the elastic bands ready anyway and I use three to four of these big elastic bands and you put them around your hand uh, to begin with and you simply just fold the bag once at the top, twice, fold it over twice and then crinkle the bag up and then spin. That is all there is to it. 
very simple. Uh, the previous way I was doing it, yeah, was just really grasping at the bag very fast, trying to get as much air in there as possible, closing that bag up very quickly, and uh, obviously it's a little bit more traumatic for the fish, and uh, if you don't get enough air in there, um, when you do that, uh, you've got to do it a number of times until you get the right amount of air in the bag. Uh, this method is a lot uh, more calmer for the fish, um, and a lot more easier. So, just go around the bag a couple of times. I'm not the greatest at tying these elastic bands. There are way better people um, out there that are way more skilled than me at doing uh, the bagging video, but this is the way I do it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So these are my white Altel Emperor Logos Calvus. I've got three in the bag. And you can see the reserve there, $80. Hopefully that's in focus. So this is all the bags so far. I've only got two more bags to go, and then I'll uh, put them in the car and head off to the auction. It's going to be a good day. So here's all the bags of fish, all ready to go. And I might quickly just show you some of them. I don't want to stress them out. Uh, it's probably worth showing you guys some of the fish. So, and here we got some. Lamprologus oscillatus gold. There's three in the bag. It's very hard to show you. Uh, the guys in here with one hand and the other hand filming. Uh, but you can just kind of see the purple fringing that they have. Beautiful little fish. A bit easier like that. There we go. Uh, so that's the Lamprologus oscillatus gold. Got some Neo Lamprologus brevis sunspot in here. Three in the bag. Just going for 40 bucks. See how they go. It's the only lot of Brevis Sunspot I'm putting in the auction. So, don't have many of them at the moment. That's okay. Uh, these guys look very similar to them. And they're called Neolamprologus Couriris. These guys look very similar to the Brevis Sunspot, but they grow. Oh, twice, maybe three times the size. There's four in the bag in here. And uh, they're very skittish, so I'm gonna put this bag down because I don't wanna stress these guys out. But I thought I'd just show you some of them. And you saw the calvus, There's a couple of bags of calvus in here. And uh, lay loopy. But anyway, I don't wanna stress them out. They're packed pretty well. I'm gonna put them in the car, have a shower, and head off to the auction. So it's the morning after the auction, and I thought I'd give you guys a brief summary of how it went. Uh, Kind of went slow, especially at the start. Uh, one of my bags was uh, the second bag of the entire night. And uh, generally in an auction, you don't really want to be up first uh, because everyone seems to be a little bit hesitant to bid on anything uh, because I guess they think uh, the mentality is that there's going to be more of those fish coming up uh, at, at maybe at a cheaper price later on during the auction. So uh, one of my bags was, uh, I think it was the second or third bag of the entire night. And um, that was my Lampologus Oscillatus Gold, one of those lots. And I had the reserve for $50, no one bid. And um, eventually someone put their hand up and bid uh, $40. And obviously that's below reserve. And then the auctioneers asked them if they wanted to bid at the reserve, which was $50. They said yes. And uh, that's how the night started for me. Um, so thankfully that one went at reserve. Uh, there were some fish that did get passed in. Um, some of the more interesting lots, there was two bags of uh, Baisha and they went for some decent money um, and I'd never seen them go through the auction before. And there was actually also three lots of Trophius Bembers that went through the auction and uh, they were large lots, I believe there were about 10 fish per lot and uh, they started at around $150 for the entire colony, so uh, t 10 fish in the colony and uh, each one went for over $200, so about $240, $250 from memory. Uh, and there was three lots of those that went through. I was really surprised to see even one lot of fish, one colony being sold, let alone uh, three, three separate lots of those. They were beautiful fish and awesome to see. I was very tempted to bid on them, uh, but I didn't have a lot of cash on me at the time, so I didn't bother. Uh, but yeah, it was really nice to see that they went for a decent price uh, for the owner and all three lots going over $200, so that was really good. In the end, it was a pretty good night, I thought. Uh, it did have that slow start, like I said, uh, but once it got going and more people uh, rocked up as the afternoon progressed, 
uh, more and more fish were being sold uh, at or above reserve, which is nice to see. So uh, all my fish thankfully sold at reserve or above what I had uh, the reserve set at. And so I'll just go through uh, what they went for on the night. So um, Leilupi, uh, I had three lots of Leilupi in the auction. All three lots had a reserve of $50. Uh, the f one of the lots sold for 95. I was really surprised at that. Another lot sold for 60 and another lot, the last lot sold for $70. So that's all Australian dollars, obviously. Uh, all the Neolampologus Couriuris had the reserve set at 50. They all sold at $50. Uh, like I said, the Ocelatus Gold, um, one lot sold for at the reserve, $50. Uh, another lot sold at $50 as well. And then uh, the third lot sold at 80. Uh, it's really random. You, you just People come and go during the night uh, so maybe the people that purchased the $80 lot uh, arrived uh, and then left after they got that lot. You, you just never know uh, what the fish are going to go for. Uh, it really does ebb and flow. I had one bag of Neolamprologus brevis sunspot in the auction, reserve of 40. They sold for 46, so that was pretty good. But onto the main fish that I sell at the auctions, uh, my calvus. So my black calvus and my white calvus. So we'll go through the black calvus. All uh, those bags, I had the reserve set at $80. One bag sold at uh, $90 and then two of the other bags sold at 95 and then the white calvus they really were the, uh, really good fish for me last night all the white calvus the reserve was $80 as well for those three lots of white calvus uh, one bag sold at 90 another bag sold at 110 and one of the bags sold at 125 so again a, quite a spread there uh, with the prices so really good night for me I was really pleased with how the fish went especially considering the slow start that we had in the auction I didn't purchase anything uh, I was very tempted obviously to bid on those trophies bembers but like I said I didn't have enough cash on me anyway so um, it wouldn't have been worth it I would have been very disappointed if they got passed in especially at $150 uh, I'm not sure what the reserve was on those yeah it was a pretty good night um, hopefully everyone was happy with what they purchased and what they sold and lastly I want to thank um, all my subscribers I recently passed a bit of a milestone my channel with 5,000 subscribers I really do appreciate you guys supporting me and watching the videos uh, it, it, it is amazing I, I really can't believe uh, how big the channel has grown uh, in the scheme of things it's a little channel on YouTube but uh, I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me uh, and I apologize again for not producing regular content but uh, once again thanks a lot for uh, supporting me on this YouTube channel Anyway guys, really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, comment and like the video. Feel free to share it with your friends uh, if you wish. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.